you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we got Legend Drop Saturday. So, from what it looked like last night from the Legend Drops that I saw on stream, it looking pretty crazy. One particular is one of my favorite players of all time. I will be picking him up. I already have my guy probably on the auction block, and if I didn't, I took him down, but I'm going to put him back up. These three are pretty exciting, especially the one. But guys, I think we're at right now 4,980 subscribers. We're 20 away from 5K, so I believe by the time you guys see this video, we would have hit it already. But thank you guys so much for all the support. If we could hit, I want to hit like 5.4K today. If we could hit that, that'd be crazy. Let's keep going on our grind to 10K. That's our next goal now, guys. So if you're new to the channel, go down below, smash the sub button, turn on the noti bell icon to be notified every time I post a brand new video, like content at 1030. And also comment down below what you guys think of these new legends. And let's get 100 likes in this video. Now, guys, that was a really quick intro. So let's go over to what we got. I'm going to go by sets. That's how you just like to do it. And by then, they should be on the auction block. I see 10. And of course, they're not here because that's, that's that's what always happens, apparently, when I'm ready at the time to, for something to drop. Well, of course, they weren't in the sets or in the solos or in the objectives. So they're on the auction block. So my video is going to be very behind now because I was sitting there looking for them in places where they should be. But of course, they're not going to be because this is EA. Now, I don't know why things aren't coming at 1030 the way they usually do, but it is what it is. Let's go over to 90 so we can at least look at the stats first. So we have, I believe we have Bruce Matthews. I forgot the second guy. I'll see you in a second. And we got my favorite player of all time. Which you're about to see right here, Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor's a 90 overall right outside linebacker. I, I'm happy they dropped him this early because I was I wanted another right outside linebacker. I love Clowney. I do. But with Mac, Donald, and Reggie White, it's gonna be unreal. It's gonna be unreal what they can do together. Now, let's compare the stats. So Lawrence Taylor has an 84 speed. So he's one of the fastest players in the field at outside linebacker coming off the edge. 87 Excel, one of the highest excels in the field. 85 strength, he's a monster. 85 tackle, he's gonna be, you know, you can trust him to tackle. Play rec's a little bit on the lower side compared to Jadavion Clowney, but that's not low in general. High block shed, 89 power move, 87 finesse. You put pass rush on this, pass rush on this guy, and he'll probably break the thresholds for those. Let's see what his other underlying stats are. Let's see, his agility is 82, his awareness is 84. Let's see, let's see, jumping's okay. He's never, this, his first cards aren't really too good in zone or too good in uh, pass, pass protection, but that's fine because you're going to rush him anyways. Hit power 86, that's huge with how much fumbles happen this year. All right, so underlying stats, very, very good. I wonder what his abilities would be. Definitely probably want to get abilities on this guy. Now coming in second, we got Bruce Matthews, the new left guard. I could definitely use a new left guard, so he's got 87 strength, 89 awareness, 88 pass block, 86 pass block power, 88 pass block finesse. He's got 88 run block and 86 run block power, 89 run block finesse. Let's see what his lead block is and his speed. Speed 65, that's not bad. His lead block's always important for a card like this. Impact blocking, I'm pretty sure 88. Okay, and let's see. I like, I like to pull sometimes with my left and right guards. And 88 lead block. Okay, so this card's a beast. Let's compare them to Andrew Norwell, who's one of the best left guards right now. He completely blows him away in every single thing. So if you want to be running with Marcus Allen right now, Bruce Matthews is your guy. I want to pick up both of them, to be honest. Now, I believe there's one more. Let's refresh, by the way, see what prices update here. Nothing, nothing. There is one more. There he is, Kellen Winslow, tight end. That's the limited time card. That must be crazy if we just pulled that limited time Kellen Winslow. So, I saw this one last night. I have a pretty good comparison. Remember that Zach Ertz I said was too slow to be on my team, and the George Kittle that I said was really fast? If you took George Kittle and combined it with Zach Ertz, you get Kellen Winslow. Look at his stats. Let's compare him to Kittle, who I believe is one of the best tight ends right now. He's just as fast. He's taller than him. He has better catching by four. He has an 89 catch in traffic, which is better by 11. 90 spec catch, which is better by nine. It's 91 short route running, which is ins Route running at a tight end is so big because they have mismatches as it is with the people they line up against. Like when you do like an out route or corner route with a tight end, those routes are already usually open. Now, if you can get a cut on that route and you're also fast and taller, that's crazy. And he also, his run blocking is where the, it's a little disappointing. Let's see if he has anything else. Like, let's see, his pass blocking is 60, his jumping is 87. Okay, so he can jump, his trucking is pretty good. Yeah, I believe that, yeah, usually he's a little powerful when it comes to running the ball after the catch. Let's see, deep route running. Deep route running is okay. Not bad for a tight end, though. Beat press is 80, that's pretty good, too. He gets up, pressed at the line. Break tackles 80. Okay, so his underlying stats are actually really, really, really good. Now, if I had to, if I had to rate these guys for you personally, 
will Kellen Winslow be my team? No. Why? Because he's a limited time. Could you power him up and get him to like, if you if he has a power up card, you could power him up to an 88 and have a nice tight end. Will I be doing that? No, because I have Kittle, but I would love this Kellen Winslow card. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be a limited time card, but it was. But on the bright side, we do end up with a Lawrence Taylor and a, where is he? Bruce Matthews now. Bruce Matthews, is he worth the price right now? No, obviously, but my prediction is this Bruce Matthews will probably come down to about like 300K in a little bit of time. And I think um, Lawrence Taylor probably said like 350. Hoping less because I definitely want him on my team, but I could just sell Jadavion Clowney. Would I recommend selling your team for this Lawrence Taylor? If you have the coins and you want to upgrade your outside linebacker, yes, but don't break your team for him. Like obviously he's insane, but just having an outside linebacker rushing won't make the overall effect as much as the team will do. And Bruce Matthews, again, like with Marcus Allen right now with the run meta, I want every lineman there is. If I could have him, Larry Allen, and Kelsey up the middle push, it's gonna be crazy on a half back dive, single back all that push you get as it is i'm definitely excited for these cards I'm probably picking up these two as soon as i can and guys by the way a little update on weekend league i'm five and zero right now I'm trying to go undefeated we both know it won't happen but I'm trying my best now let's go over see if the solos are out if i was just you guys i'd recommend playing the lawrence taylor solo get his power up you could either sell it or you can use it you can either you can even power up lawrence taylor to like an 88 overall and just use him let's see yep there they are legends week three there is Bruce Matthews, Lawrence Taylor, Kellen Winslow. So you can easily do these to get the power ups now. Bruce Matthews, eh. Kellen Winslow, eh. Lawrence Taylor, if you want to, you can get him second like needed overall. He'd be very, very good powered up. And same with Kellen Winslow. Now Bruce Matthews, if I'm getting him, I'm going all the way. I'm gonna get his full time. I'm gonna get his full card. Will I power him up? Probably not because I don't see him long term in my team for the for now at least. But Lawrence Taylor, I probably will definitely power up. So I'll probably play the solo. Or if it's like three cow, just buy it. But you guys can do it because I, I'm trying to get content out. So I'm not gonna really be playing the solos. Now, let's go over to the sets real quick, and let's see if we can look at what the pieces are going for, because remember guys, the key right now is to snipe out these pieces. Snipe them out for cheap. This is when you snipe cards. I'll, make, I'll be making a market talk after this video, most likely, to go over what you guys should be sniping and what the price are looking like, because that's pretty much how you get cheap. That's kind of how the method works, and you sell on Thursdays, and then you, you snipe on Saturdays. So let's see what these are going for right now. I wouldn't recommend sniping his pieces yet, because they're going to be crazy expensive. At the moment, I'd recommend sniping guys like Jerry Rice because his piece is already out already as it is. It's so like 20K, you could probably get these for like 16, 15 if you just sit there long enough. And also these you could probably get a little cheaper right now. So it's a little slow, but that's because it just opened up. By 11, things are usually coming off quickly. But guys, if I were you guys, my personal recommendation when it comes to the bundle, which we're going to go to right now, I'll show it to you guys. I won't be opening the bundle because personally, $100 is a lot for... An 85 overall legend in a few packs. I mean, don't get me wrong, if I had it on the account, I probably would use it, but I don't. It contains eight legend fantasy packs and a topper containing an 85 plus legends player. The alternative to this is you could buy eight of these individually and you actually get, I believe you can, if you buy these, I forgot what it was. Someone said that last week there was like a four bundle and you were able to get like an extra two packs if you bought them separately, but it's not looking like you could do that again. I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm probably wrong. But the point is, anyways, would I recommend opening these packs? Not really. If you have the coins, yeah, but I never really like opening these kind of bundles. Legend Fantasy Packs are the best packs they usually offer, but it's very expensive, $100 at this point. I mean, in my opinion, I'd rather you guys just snipe the cards out, sell, keep making your coins slowly. You can make just as many coins from buying the bundle if you just take this week and do the method I've been telling you guys to do. It's easily just as effective. And the 85 plus player, a lot of people I've seen just get the 85 overall, so it's not exactly worth it. And if the Legend... And a lot of people, if the Legends the last, there's three rounds in the Legend Fantasy Packs. So the first round, which is Silvers, the second, which is like Gold Plus, and then the third, which are a Legend and two Elites. That one sometimes hits, but I saw everyone hitting 83, 82s. If those all hit 83s for you, you might end up with only like 150K for $100. When just by selling on Thursday and buying back Monday, you make more than that. So in my opinion, it's not always worth it. Like I said, if I, for, for a video, would I do it if I had the points on the account? Yes, I certainly would do it. But at this moment in time, I'm not entirely sure if I would... I would go for these now i would i was in open packs for you guys but kind of want that lawrence taylor kind of low on coins i feel like it'd be a waste and i probably won't get anything so i'm probably gonna wait and also guys last thing while i'm dropping this content video make sure you go over and play your month superstar solos you get a free 89 to 90 overall player if you guys don't know about that i already posted that video but that's huge go get that player for free a lot of you guys know money spent you can get up to 8 89 overall 89 to 90 players there's eight options they're all really really good there's really no bad one although i rated them but if you got any of them it doesn't really matter but guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Saturday Legend Drop. This is the second time we post this video. We're going to be one every single week, four times a month for the rest of the year. So we're looking forward to that. Turn on the Noti Bell to get notified when I post these videos. You know the up-to-date content that's coming out. 
Also, expect a market talk coming up on the Legends. Probably going to do one right after. I also have a lineup update to show you guys for my Weekend League team, which is currently undefeated. And also, comment down below what you guys think of these Legends. I know Lawrence Taylor is a banger. I don't even need you guys probably don't even need to tell me that. But what do you guys think about Bruce Matthews and Kellen Winslow? I personally think when Winslow is like Zach, Zach Kittle, but that's my personal opinion. And Bruce Matthews is going to let Marcus Allen father feast the Weekend League, so I got to go pick him up. Yeah, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. And if you have, go down below. Smash the sub button. Let's get to 5K and maybe even 5.5 by the end of the day. Who knows? Also, turn on the noti bell like I just said. Comment down below to let me know what you guys think. Give me some feedback on the video and on the players. And also, guys, smash the like button. Let's get to 100 likes on this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Come out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.